I can look back and say that Fulbright's made a really a paradigm shift in, in, in my career. The experience that you get in the Fulbright by going somewhere else is monumental. In a way, it's a bit cliche to say this, but I really found that the exposure to the American can-do attitude, as it's called, changed my life. Well, that four months was, I think it was probably a life-changing experience in a variety of ways. It was an enabling experience and a, and a confidence-building experience. I suppose that I'm, I've been more adventurous musically than I might have been. It changed me in a lot of ways, a lot of uh, very, very different ways, a lot of incalculable ways, a lot of small ways. I think that my experience in the US had profound impact on me in terms of opening up new, new areas of experience for exploration. I think I'm a better person. Um, I'm hopefully a better mother um, and also then a better understanding of people in general. The Fulbright has made a difference for me personally by making me much more a citizen of the world. The Fulbright experience for me is an ongoing experience and I think Senator Fulbright when he set up the programme his whole idea of you know, a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more reason, a little bit more compassion will make the world a better place and I think that's a really nice balance. Fulbright to me is sort of, they were the people that I went to when I thought I had an idea that might improve the world in some small way. I have to say, it strikes me as one of the best programs the United States has for uh, the exchange of ideas, for increasing understanding among countries, for achieving those goals that uh, Senator Fulbright hoped, that we would increase reason, understanding, and compassion around the world. And just based on that, I think it's probably one of the most successful programs the United States has ever put forward um, following the Second World War. The immediate thing I think about when, when somebody mentions the word Fulbright was Senator Fulbright himself. Somewhere deep in my subconscious is a memory of the very liberal and inspiring vision that he articulated shortly after the war when he talked about the need for understanding between peoples and how contact between peoples can generate understanding and from that understanding uh, reduce the possibilities of conflict. So that that sense has always been in the back of my mind. I, knew, I know, of course, it is an academic program, and I became much more involved with it then in 1987 when I became a Fulbright Scholar. The wonderful idea of educational exchange which basically means um, young people from Ireland or researchers from Ireland, enabling them to go to the United States, new universities, new experience, meeting new colleagues and networking, and also researchers from the United States coming to Ireland new experiences, uh, new universities, collaboration and networking. Um, it's fundamentally about human contact and, and, and an experience that adds value to the individual ultimately. That's what I think immediately. I think of educational exchange, which uh, from my point of view as a diplomat, is such a valuable tool and uh, one that helps us perform our function uh, in diplomacy. Fulbright really drives home the point that that diplomacy is not political. It's something that, that, that begins with people and continues with people and it's something that you're gonna have essentially for the rest of your life. It's, it's a conversation that sort of, you know, even though you hang the phone up, it never ends. Oh, I think it was very, very um, profound for Ireland to, back in 1957 to start this programme because I think at, that was at a time when the foundation of the state was still very, very new. We were very much trying to find our feet and our bearings outside of, of, of the, the UK and, and the administration of the UK and we were very much fledgling state at that stage even though we had a constitution for some years. Many of the early Fulbrighters went to the United States to study agricultural issues. And they came back here to help the whole agricultural industry and market here in Ireland in ways that I think moved Ireland quite a ways in the 1950s and 60s into the modern kind of agri uh, agricultural world. The whole um, Celtic tiger that we have enjoyed has been largely as a result of uh, the input from our graduates from our universities who have been taught by Fulbright scholars. So. It, 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 in a roundabout way, I suppose, but in a very definite way, the Fulbright programme has had a major impact in the whole higher education system in Ireland. Fulbright has helped us to, to come to where we, we, are, we now are in terms of genuinely being a place where researchers come from all over the globe. Fulbright was one of the earliest, if not the earliest, 
programs of international education exchange. Um, it's between Ireland and our greatest friend in the world, the United States, because of our historical connectivity. Um, I think after 50 years, it's appropriate that we see, can we expand that, can we develop that in ways that meet the current needs and requirements of both nations. The Fulbright program has made a difference in, I think, two ways. Uh, one of them is um, sort of practical, down-to-earth career. There are Fulbrighters, one, for instance, I spoke with who thought, uh, who brought up in a poor family and he thought that he was going to uh, teach piano to uh, uh, young people in the Bronx for the rest of his life. And after his Fulbright, he formed a chamber music concert uh, series. He went all over the world. He uh, received a, an appointment at a university. That's a huge difference. The second, of course, is um, the ties between people. And as they rise into leadership, the difference that those ties make. Uh, Japanese ambassador said that the relationship between Japan and the United States was so much better thanks to the Fulbright program, and he was a Fulbrighter to prove it. Fulbright has made a difference. I mean, up to 1,600 people from Ireland have benefited from going overseas, and likewise 600 Americans have. As we move in, into the future, the world is now a global village. We, the international dimension is critical. The Irish peace process would not have been resolved without the international dimension, without the Amer American dimension. It has made us closer as a people. Our contacts are growing. In the future, we will need to do much more of that. Fulbright, to me, means change for the better. And I think whatever form that change takes, whether it's I'm changed or the people that I meet are changed because I've been on Fulbright, I think either way, perhaps we then achieve what Senator Fulbright wanted in the first place, that by understanding each other better, we realise maybe we're not all that different or we can accommodate the differences between us. So change, change for the better, whether it's minds, whether it's actions, that for me is what Fulbright means. Fulbright brings to mind the word opportunities um, because it's really an opportunity in so many ways to learn about yourself, to further your academic or professional development, um, to learn a new culture, and to do a lot of self-reflection within that culture. And by going to another country, it kind of causes you to think about those big questions that I think shape careers and make a difference. I have no doubt that if I didn't go, I wouldn't have succeeded insofar as I have succeeded in, in, in my academic life. I can look back and say that Fulbright's made a really a paradigm shift in, in, in my career. Uh, since I've come back, I've uh, taken on PhD students, we've got grants, we've published papers, we've expanded our research group from 1 to 22. I think a, a major input into this has been my colleague, my former PhD student and now colleague uh, Fergal O'Brien, who actually got a, a Fulbright as well to go to MIT about five years after me. And between us, we've built up this bone research group in the College of Surgeons, which now has got 22 members. I went to study environmental policy there, and the professor assured me that I would quickly catch up on microeconomics. He told me I could, so I did. Um, but at a broader level, in terms of my own career, I was inspired by the example of teachers of mine there, all of whom had done many things. They had practiced law, but they also had careers as academics at an earlier or later stage in their lives. Since then, my, I suppose my whole life has been Fulbright in a sense since I returned because I was on the steering committee of the founding committee of the, the Fulbright Alumni Association and I am now president of the um, Irish Fulbright Alumni Association. So all the way through, um, I suppose it's, it's kind of formed me both musically and, uh, and personally.